What's good, people? Uncle Hotel back at it again. How y'all doing? Happy Monday. Happy, you know, Neil Gate, post Neil Gate, Neil Armageddon. <laughs> Man, you know, everybody was taking a knee yesterday. Some teams stayed in the locker room. Which I think is a, probably a suitable solution. Just stay in the locker room. Nobody, people want to make, you know what I mean? Just, just stay in the locker room. You're, you're here to play football, not, not fucking stand for the anthem. You know what I mean? And, you know, and when did they start doing that? 2009? You know, they, they, the Army signed up with, they gave the NFL money so they could have more patriotic you know, stuff, it was just propaganda, you know, you see, this, that's what the, that's what the NFL gets for, uh, taking that, that cheddar from, them. um, I seen a one player talk crying, he is down there brought to tears, he started choking up, because, you know, I guess he felt like, Donald Trump, the president, called him a son of a bitch. <laughs> and I don't know what's wrong with black men in 2017. I mean, I do know, but I don't want to get into that in this video. But you got to be a lot tougher than that. You want to get into tears. Because Trump felt like the sons of bitches who didn't stand for the flag should be taken off, should be fired. They come the hell on, one man. You gonna tear up over that? We can't. This <laughs> the descendants of slaves. This descendants of people that came here on slave ships. The descendants of the y'all say was bed bucked and, and back broke. Whatever I don't know. Whatever the slavery terms. Y'all come up with these more slavery terms more now in 2017 than I heard my entire life. I don't know what the hell y'all trying to relive the shit. You tell me the descendants of all that is gonna cry because some white man said you sons of bitches should be fired. <laughs> like I can't. You can't make this up. Like, come on, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> come on, man. You gotta be tougher than that, man. Black man, you got you gotta be way tougher than that. I'm sorry. Um, but this 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 Neil Gate yesterday, man, and it. You know, this is something that like the mass media and Donald Trump they they got what they wanted, you know what I mean, they got exactly what they wanted, you know, Trump got, you know, I think maybe, uh, this distracts from the, uh, another failure on a, a healthcare attempt, you know what I mean, nobody's talking about that anymore, um, they were trying that Graham, what, Cassidy bill, they were trying to get over, uh, Rand and said, nah, then, you know, McCain is on his last, his damn near deathbed, so he said nah as well. So this, I mean, to me, it's, he's offering a distraction. And there's multiple things. You got to remember, whenever they do something, you know what I mean? Whenever like a big event, like, you know, 9-11 or whatever it comes, they, it's always for multiple reasons. It's not just for one reason. Because um, also, he, he's Trump has successfully put him side himself on the side of people that love the American flag and, and the people that sit down during anthems and, and everything this that and the third he's put them against each other this is So anybody that you know, the, all the patriotic American, there's a lot of you gotta understand. This, there's a lot of people like that. A lot of people love the American flag. To me, it, I mean, it's a flag to me. Um, I'm not one of those people. But there are a lot of you have to understand. There's a lot of people like that in America, and he's put himself on their side. They might not even like Trump, 
But I tell you what, they hate when they see people disrespect the American flag. You see what I'm saying? They're locking up the 2020 election for them. You don't even know it. You don't even know it. Unbelievable. And then, instead of this, this protest being about what it's supposed to be about, police brutality, which was originally for with Colin X, Colin Kaepernick. Is it Colin or Colin? Colin Kaepernick? Colin. That was fun to think about. Anyway, his original stance was because he was fighting police brutality. Here y'all go. Now, this, 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 they were taking it. Nobody, see, the, the thing was, only a couple people were coming with him last year. Why didn't all these people stand last year? See, Trump opens his mouth. Y'all took the bait. Now all y'all want to fight for it. But now, it has shifted from police brutality, which nobody is even talking about, to Donald Trump. <laughs> this is classic chess move from Trump, man. Y'all fell for the bait, man. Y'all fell for the bait, man. I seen uh, alleged. I seen video. Brandon Marshall spit on an Eagles play, Eagles fan. You know, man. I I don't know. You know, um, people start to get turned off by athletes. Uh, I certainly am. You know. Um, some of these guys, athletes, like Michael Bennett, you know, trying to set themselves up for, you know what I mean, life in the limelight after football was done. You know, it's not even about, sometimes it's about the money with these act activists, and sometimes they just, they're addicted to the fame, you know what I mean? Like, i never seen such stretching of the imagination in Michael Bennett, like, he's talking about, you know... He was talking about Trump's tweets. I mean, his speech. and said, oh, oh, Trump must think I, this is the only job I can get with a black man. Like, oh, as a black man. I'm like, you know, I nothing to do with a black man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all the ones. <laughs> He's using people's love and patriotism against y'all. That's it. It don't matter what color y'all are. It could be all white folks, and they would do the same thing. But you always want to make this about race and stuff like that. You know? Um, I've never seen so much fuckery. And, and you know what? There's no job in the world you can make start making political statements. Like, at any job, they'd be like, they'd put you right in the rule book, man. Don't make no political statements wearing our, our, our uniform or at the work, don't pass out, don't paraphernalia, don't make that, that, that's right in the HR handbook, man, you know what I'm saying, y'all lucky you can even do what you're, you're trying to do, make these political statements, any other place you would have been fired, that's what Trump was saying, like you can't do this in the workplace, the workplace will fire you. What are you talking about First Amendment rights? No, they would like get your ass out, get your black ass off the fuck and give me your badge. That's what they would tell you. <coughs> if you talk about I'm protesting police brutality at my job. That's what they would say. Let's be for real here. I used to I used to be working a help desk right in the cubicle. <coughs> and after the Iraq this was right right when the Iraq Right after 9-11 and the Iraq war jumped off, I used to put political picture, pictures off of my, of my cubicle. This was, I was I was trying to red pill these normies. I'd have a picture of Ariel Sharon, man. I'd have a picture, there's a picture of like Bush, George Bush, Clinton, and George Bush Sr. I don't know if you guys seen it. Um, there was a picture of that up there. I had a picture of the towers, people jumping off. You know, I was just like, 
I used to go to this website, libertyforum.org, and this was where I would get a lot of the stuff. They was, they was woke. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, um, that's why I feel, that's why I uh, cut my teeth on that, uh, that red pill. You know what I mean? The real red pill, not not the fake red pill where you, you call yourself red pill and you get every mainstream or it's, it's almost like two mainstreams now like there's a mainstream uh the normal the normie mainstream and now there's a mainstream for the semi woke mainstream you know what i mean it's that man is slick but anyway i used to, have to put that stuff in there uh, in my cubicle and then one day uh, this lady i guess her son was in iraq and she told me her uh, she told HR on me, and then I had to take a. I ended up having to take him down. Oh man, they were like, "Oh man, dude, hit the bond, you can't uh, have the stuff up there." My manager told me, I'm "Like, what? There's nothing offensive about it." I took the shit down. I was like, "Fuck it," you know. But that's what they'll do at any normie job. That's what was, what's going to happen. You know what I mean? You're not going to be able to make any political statements like these NFL players are trying to make. And these shines are sitting out here like, oh, WNBA players are taking a knee and this, that, and a third. Their people are staying with cap. Owners are making uh, messages to the public. Cap still don't got no job. They still blackballed his ass, so it don't make no difference. Oh, something else, man. You know what I mean? This is... Y'all gonna kneel the rest of the season? And is that gonna fix police brutality? This is not... I mean, that, none of this stuff is gonna fix it. You know what I mean? You gotta fix... You gotta fix a couple ways, man. You gotta fix the, the crime in the inner cities. And you gotta fix... You gotta hold some of these police accountable. You know what I mean? Matter of fact, you gotta be... Some of y'all gotta come become police. You know what I mean? If you sit there and complain about it, some of y'all just got to be police. You know what I mean? You got to police your own neighborhood. Um, and there's a video. Uh, I can't remember what city, what town. I think it must be in New York. This Orthodox Jews were, uh, they were chasing some dude, a black dude around, around <laughs> chasing away from their neighborhood. They police their own. Why can't these inner cities police their own neighborhoods? You know what I'm saying? You talking about all these police brutality? Well, police yourselves. Stop asking the man to do it. Those are these are viable solutions, not taking a knee. You know, I seen tweet vibe high. Shout out to vibe high. Shout out to Hope Tup Nation. Everybody over there, check that website out. He says y'all taking a knee because y'all don't know how to stand. That's what it is. Don't take it in because you don't know how to stand. You don't know how to stand up for yourself. You don't know how to stand up for your family. You don't know how to stand up for your neighborhood. You don't know how to stand up for your block. You don't know how to stand up to these gangs. You don't know how to stand up to these drug dealers. So now you're, you're taking a knee. When you learn how to stand, you get up off your damn knees. <sighs> Anyway, this is Uncle Hotep. Thanks for listening. If you're going to donate to my Patreon and PayPal, I greatly appreciate it. Uncle Hotep needs some shekels, man. And uh, episode 69 of the podcast is up. Check that out. Um, I'll probably do another one this week. Um, and check me out on Facebook, Uncle Hotep1. That's my official Facebook page. Come by, give me a review, give me some likes. Um, if you want some music reviews, I do that too. You know what I mean? Uncle Hotep is he's he's diverse. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway, this is Uncle Hotep. Peace.